Hi Kaiju fans, this is John Legrand, Legrandzilla, and uh, here's a diorama that I had finished, oh, I think a couple months ago. I don't think I've shown it to you. Uh, this is not a diorama that I designed, but this is a Yuji Sakai kit that is uh, completely designed by Yuji Sakai, and I wanted to show it to you. It's uh, not a very large diorama. Godzilla here is probably only about uh, almost seven inches tall, six inches tall, something like that. Um, the piece itself takes up quite a bit of room just because of the wings of uh, King Ghidorah and, uh, and, and all that. With a diorama like this, the main thing that uh, I needed to figure out is if I was going to uh, simply paint the uh, uh, vegetation on here or if I was going to try to do some effects and I did use some Woodland Scenics uh, uh, materials and uh, I painted it but then I also used some uh, Woodland Scenics moss and uh, in the bushes uh, Godzilla 91 is uh, a little bit hard to build and paint when it's uh, such small scale. To get the eyes and that, it was a little bit of a challenge. The teeth are very small. Um, another thing that's a challenge about this is the um, way that the uh, arms uh, of Godzilla were also uh, attached to the uh, tails of uh, King Ghidorah and how that all goes together. Uh, Godzilla is not glued down here. Uh, it's simply, simply resting on the base. Oh, besides the uh, uh, Woodland Scenics products, I also put some uh, pieces of uh, wood. It looked like maybe some trees had been broken. I just used a, a rod, steel rod, to support King Ghidorah. And, uh, I uh, found that the, one of the bigger challenges about building him is uh, my model kit that I got had a lot of broken teeth and uh, other things that were broken, spikes. And so I had to re-sculpt them myself. Also the eyes are very small and I wasn't real sure how I wanted to paint them. Uh, also getting uh, the shading on uh, King Ghidorah being all gold was a bit of a challenge. I did take some liberties to do some things, uh, use different types of silvers and golds and things. I made his uh, claws a little bit more uh, steely color. But this, uh, this model does have certain challenges and uh, so I wanted to show that to you. Um, not a real easy model to find anymore. And uh, definitely was not easy to build to get it, all the seams to uh, match up well and stuff like that. A little bit difficult. All right, in here I had to pin, put a, quite a long pin in through there to support a lot of pin work. Um, for such a small model, which in most cases I, I wouldn't have to do too much pinning, but just because of the need to support um, what's going on here. But yeah, I had a, I had to replace some of these with uh, my own sculpting. So this wasn't just a easy kit to put together or paint. Of course, I had to paint. Um, the arms and the, and the tail and then kind of glue it together and then re-putty it and then paint it again. Had to paint certain parts quite a few times. But anyway, uh, it is a really uh, nice kit for my collection and uh, it resides happily in my Godzilla room. And uh, it was fun, if not a challenge to build, so uh, 
Thanks for looking. And thanks for watching my videos. Talk to you later. Bye.